Hey everyone, welcome back to another GRE video. I am Chewing Gum Freak, AKA Alice. And if you haven't been here before, I scored a 332 on my first test and a 5.5 on the writing. This YouTube channel is to help all of you get the GRE score of your dreams. So I wanna start off by saying that during this time of coronavirus and quarantine, a lot of you may have a lot of GRE related questions that are relatively specific that you don't know where to get the answers to and because of that I'd like to offer free 30-minute one-on-one sessions with me uh, I will post the link to all of those down below in the pinned comment and the description and if you're watching this in the future and you want to know if I'm still doing this uh, those will keep you updated. You can come to those and ask me any types of questions, even essay reviews, as long as I can finish it within 30 minutes, I am more than happy to help you. I can't make any promises on content, but I will definitely do my best. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as we get into the start of this content, I wanna remind you that I want to assume that you basically know nothing going into each of the topics that I cover, just to make sure that we are all on the same page and nothing's lost. If I miss anything, please leave your tips and tricks in the comments below so that everyone else can use them as well. So today's topic is different types of numbers. Now this might not seem super important, but having a base of the different types of numbers will definitely help you out when you're taking the test. The GRE will not have all types of numbers. You won't have imaginary numbers, for example. So I want Want to only include the categories that you're definitely gonna see on the test. The first one is real numbers. These include all negative, positive, zero numbers, including fractions and decimals. Anything that is possibly between negative infinity and infinity is a real number. Now a smaller subset of that are integers. So integers are sometimes colloquially known as whole numbers, but basically they're any number between negative infinity and infinity that are not fractions or decimals. So within this you'll have negative 10,000, you'll have negative 1, 0, 1, 10,000, positive 20,000, et cetera, et cetera. An even smaller subset of that is whole numbers. Now, when we usually talk about them in daily life, we talk about them meaning they don't have percentages or decimals. So whole numbers in the mathematical sense are exactly that. They don't have any whole numbers or fractions, like I mentioned with integers, but they are not negative. So whole numbers must start with zero and include zero all the way to positive infinity. Now the last two types of numbers here are incredibly important and without a doubt you will definitely see these concepts on the test. The first one is prime numbers. These are any numbers, so again they are whole numbers, that can only be divided by the number one and that number. So if you're talking about one, two, three, five, 7, 17, 23, those are all prime numbers because there are no other numbers that would divide evenly into that original number. Now, if you're talking about the opposite, those are called composite numbers. Composite numbers are the product of two numbers other than one and the original number. So these numbers include four, which is a product of two times two, six, two times three, you could have 10,000, which is 100 times 100, or two times 50,000, et cetera, et cetera. As long as numbers besides one and itself can be divided into it, then it's a composite number. So you can imagine, obviously, that there are way, way more composite numbers than there are prime numbers. But I would highly recommend that you sit down and you remember some of the common or key prime numbers, just because they come up in a lot of different math concepts, including greatest common factors and least common multiples. And I will have other videos talking about those. So if you're interested in more quantitative review, I have a playlist 
that will come up on screen. Don't forget to sign up for meetings with me if you'd like to meet and be sure to let me know about any topics that you would like me to cover more. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you later. Bye.